makeup tutorial and I hope you all like it I really do I like the cut crease and then the blue underneath my lash line and yeah and make sure you're subscribed if you're not and let's just keep on going if you want to see the video so to start off this makeup tutorial I'm grabbing my YSL primer to prime my face and by the way I'm so sorry I like waxed before this video so that's why my like upper lip and brows are kind of red and then I'm grabbing my Fenty Beauty foundation and plopping that on my face and to cover my imperfections and I really like this foundation it has a very nice finish to it so I'm just beauty blendering that all over my face and then I'm grabbing my Anastasia contour palette I'm grabbing the middle cream contour shade and contouring my chin my nose my forehead and my hollows of my cheeks Then to conceal my under eye circles, I'm grabbing this full coverage Tarte concealer and I absolutely love this concealer. I like it better than the Shape Tape concealer that everyone apparently loves. I like this one more. It just, I feel like it has more coverage to it and I am just putting that underneath my eyes, my chin, my Keep It Spell, and my forehead just to highlight also. Then I'm grabbing my RMCA No Color Powder to bake my under eyes, my nose, just anywhere that I get really super oily. Then to set the rest of my outer face portion, I am using my Urban Decay face powder and putting that down my neck and just the outer portions of my face. Then using my favorite bronzer is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I'm just contouring my cheeks, my forehead, my um, chin and lower neck area and my nose. Then I'm also grabbing my Jeffree Star Siberian Gold Highlighter on a wet brush and I'm putting that on my cheeks, my nose, my um, cupid spell, my chin, and my forehead. And the reason why I put it on with a wet brush is just because it makes the highlighter pop a little bit more. And with a little bit of blush and this is Max Warm Soul and it's just a very natural color that it's great for everyday wear. Then I'm filling in my eyebrows and then going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and grabbing this warm tone brown and putting that all into my crease and I'm starting a cut crease here so just kind of blend that into your crease we'll clean it up later and then going into a more warm tone darker brown that has more of a red tone in it like a more like pigmented red tone into it and I'm getting a more precise brush and putting that where the exact crease is of my eyelid so you just kind of have to play around with your eyelid to find this I'm still not great at cut creases so please cut me some slack here so I'm just going in and cut creasing that a little bit I just want to go back and forth with those two colors and blend a lot just so you get a nice gradual look and then I'm grabbing this NYX concealer palette and just making this cut crease look sharp and then I go in with a Naked Basics color with like a cream eyeshadow and setting the concealer. I tried to change. 
Then I thought I would do something outgoing and use this blue shade underneath my lash line. You honestly don't have to do this, but I thought because this is New Year's Eve, we can put some blue in it and make it look more festive. And lastly, I'm going in with the champagne colored and I'm putting that on my brow bone and my inner corner to highlight. I'm going to be doing a winged eyeliner for this look and I'm using the Kat Von D inked liner and it's just going to be a very slight wing. And to make this look look more festive, I'm grabbing this Lit Cosmetics Glitter and Champagne Wishes and putting that underneath my eyelash line just to make it look more festive and glitterly and I think it's really pretty and then I'm grabbing my Ardell Demi Wispy eyelashes and putting them on my lids and then I'm blending in those eyelashes with my Roller Last Mascara. I'm using this Bobbi Brown lip liner and this is in Sand Pale and I'm just lining my lips a tad and then I'm going to go in with and I'm grabbing this Milani lip gloss and it's a pink with shimmer and I just think this looks really natural with the look and it's really really pretty If you did, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you like, subscribe, and follow any of my social media if y'all want to keep in contact with me. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!